All right, let me tell you about this case. We'd been chasing rumors for years. Whispers about women vanishing from the city's East End. Women down on their luck, you know, sex workers and addicts. No trace, no body, just a hollow silence hanging heavy in the air. Months blurred into years, the frustration gnawing at us. Then, a tip came in. A name. Robert Picton. Owned a pig farm out by the highway. Seemed like a quiet loner. Inherited the place from his folks. Didn't raise any red flags at first, but something about him didn't sit right. You get a gut feeling after enough time on the job. We brought Picton in for questioning. He was a butcher by trade, learned the craft young. Worked on the farm his whole life except for a brief stint as a meat cutter. Apparently, a bit odd, kept to himself. Locals said he threw wild parties sometimes, invited all sorts of folks, bikers, women from the downtown east side. The kind of crowd you wouldn't necessarily expect at a pig farm. That's when the smell hit us. Overpowering, metallic, clung to your clothes even after you left. We started digging, following every lead. Forensics found traces of human DNA in the pig feed, then bone fragments. It didn't take long to piece it together. Picton was feeding his victims to the pigs, disposing of the evidence with every sausage he sold. The confession came slow, but it came. 49 murders, Picton admitted. 49 women gone. Said his only regret was not reaching his sick quota. 50. Canada, eh? land of the red maple leaf, known for its beauty and peace. But beneath that picture-perfect postcard, darkness can fester. Don't let appearances fool you. Even the most ordinary facade can hide a monster. Stay vigilant.